Alright guys, this is the NES that I had planned to send to Medium Flipper, and I'm still going to, probably. But when I was getting everything ready to pack up today to ship out to him, I decided to test everything just to make sure, and it has developed this problem. Now, I cleaned the 72 pin connector, I cleaned where it connects to the board, and I bent the pins back out so they make a good connection, and it was working great. But for some reason today, it's doing this. Tried a couple of different things, and what I found actually works is this. As long as the cartridge is up, it works just fine. So I know everything's making a good connection. So I can go like this. Hit the power button every single time, no problem. I'm not happy sending it to him working part way, so I'm going to try something drastic, and if it doesn't work out, it'll get my own personal system. So here we go. All right, I'm going to crack this bad boy open and try to disable the lockout chip. We're going to see what happens, and I'm going to try and show you guys what I'm going to do. Okay, so I've taken out all the screws, opened it up, Everything's loose, so the first thing I'm going to do is attempt to flip it over here, and we're going to take off this metal shield. But in order to get it completely off, you have to unplug these two wires. And I don't need to get it completely off, I just need to get it out of my way. And you want to orient it so you can read everything upright and we're going to be disconnecting pin number four on this chip right here and I'll try and set up the tripod so I can get a closer look at that for you. Okay I've set my camera in macro mode and I've tried to get as clear a picture as I could for you but this is just about as good as it's going to get. Now it gets a little confusing because online and on some of the videos I watched the layout here is different than it is in my mess but basically what you're looking for is right here is a number and that number is 3193A and then what you want to do is from the left side over you want to count one two three four pins and this is the pin that we're going to disconnect now most of them say you can just kind of get in here and pull it out and we're going to give that a shot here and see what happens Oh, and it's going to bend my little probe here. Okay, sorry about that. I just could not get a good angle on it with the camera in my way. So we moved the camera and I managed to get it popped out of there. It actually came out pretty easy once I got some decent leverage. So this here is the chip. 3193A located uh, just above and to the left of the RF unit here and you want to remove the one, two, three, fourth leg in from the left. So, if you want to try this, by all means go ahead. I can't promise you that it's going to work, but we're going to hook it up and see if it works on this one anyway. Okay, so hopefully what I just did disabled the lockout chip and not destroy the system. We got the same Mario game, and well, you know what, let's try this first. still works like that not blinking hey apparently that works hit the reset button see what happens hey look at that it resets let's try another game here see if we can get this out of pit so tight now okay I went and got that beat up Legend of Zelda cart that I got at a thrift store the other day. We'll give this one a shot. Try it first. Up. And down. It works both ways. Now, granted, my carts have been cleaned, so, I mean, they're probably making a better connection than some. And, I mean, it is still an old piece of hardware, so it is not going to be without its bugs, 
it's probably going to work just about as good as anyone this age can possibly work. So, meeting flipper, I hope you enjoy it, and happy gaming.